Hey, Michael, um, what did you see on that Jamal play in the third quarter? And, and did he give you any explanation uh, before he left the court? Uh, I, honestly, Mike, I'm not just saying this. Uh, I have not even seen the replay of that yet. Uh, I did ask Zach Zarba, uh, the crew chief, and he said it was, you know, fairly obvious. So, uh, you know, Zach's a hell of an official. So I'll, I'll look at it. Uh, Jamal didn't say anything. I think it, it got to that point. You know, there was a lot of physicality between those two. They came out very aggressive in that third quarter, which it, you knew they would uh, after our first half. Um, but I can't speak too much more in detail about it because I haven't seen the replay of it yet. So um, you know, hopefully uh, it's nothing more than Jamal being ejected tonight and we can use it as a learning experience. Vic Lombardi. Coach, uh, in that third quarter sequence, Dallas takes a seven point lead. Uh, things could have gotten crazy there, but your team persevered. What, what, what was the reason there? How did you hold it together? Well, I think it came down to the fourth quarter. Um, and, and the group that started the fourth quarter, Vic, I thought was, uh, was incredible. I'm really proud of RJ Hampton. Uh, you know, first real stretch of minutes he's gotten in a tight ball game. Uh, and I think the five or six minutes that he played, uh, 545, he made an impact. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a very good player. He was, you know, killing us in that third quarter with his catch and shoot. And I thought RJ did a really good job of defending him. And then on offense, making hustle plays, coming up with loose balls, offensive rebounds. So really valuable minutes for RJ. But that group of Faku, Monte, RJ, Michael, and Jamichael uh, started it off. And then we went back to our starters. They closed the deal. 19 points allowed in the fourth quarter, 32% from the field, and 30 from three, three of 10. And the second half, Vic, we didn't foul Luka Doncic one time. He was there 10 times in the first, eight times in the first quarter. Um, but we don't win that game if we don't buckle down on defense. And, uh, and, and we did that. So it was really uh, it was great to see. And uh, we're off to a really good start in this long road trip. Go to Joel Rush. Hey, Coach. Uh, Baku Kampazu had a pretty minimal uh, stat line tonight, except for his plus 12. What do you see him doing out there that's contributing to winning? Yeah, I mean, like I mentioned, you know, uh, that, that group to start the fourth quarter played really hard. They defended at a high level uh, and they played with passion. And I thought they played hard. And, um, you know, good things happen when you play hard. I know it's cliche, but it's so true. And that, that kind of is who Faku Campazzo is. He plays hard. Whether you're playing for two minutes, 10, 20, 30 minutes, he's going to play the same way. Uh, he has an impact. He makes winning plays on both ends. He makes plays for his teammates on offense. And he just competes at a really high level on defense. What he lacks in size, he more than makes up for with the size of his heart and his competitive spirit. So, uh, that was fun. Michael Porter, you know, usually guys ask the first five questions are about Michael. So since you guys haven't brought it up, I'll speak about Michael. Uh, he was tremendous tonight. Obviously, I thought our bench as a whole, our bench scored 63 points to their 29 in Dallas. Uh, but Michael goes to 30 and eight. Uh, DeMichael Green goes to 17 and eight. Uh, big, big night for both of those players. And we don't win the game without Michael Porter having the game that he had. So that was great to see. Todd Romero. Hey, Coach, it's, it's kind of odd to see every starter be in minus numbers, yet your bench comes up. Every one of the bench members was in plus numbers. And I, I thought when you were talking about that, that fourth quarter unit, I thought one play in particular that started the fourth. There was a missed three, the real hustle for that rebound, the kick back out, and then the hit for three by uh, Jermichael that gave you guys the lead was kind of indicative of your team's effort. Yeah, I mean – and. Even before that, right, Todd? I mean, it was so, uh, you know, I hated to see P.J. Dozier, obviously, uh, uh, whether it's a hamstring strain, we're going to see what the, the injury is, but he had to leave the game, uh, and he's been great for us. Jamal Murray had a great first half. He gets ejected. So, you know, you need, you need to find a way, and, and our bench came through for us. And to your point, making hustle plays. You miss a shot. Who wants to rebound? And, again, for us to be plus 15 on the glass – uh, 49 to 34, we had 14 offensive rebounds. Those are valuable extra possessions that we're generating. And to your point, that one led to a Jermichael Green three. Um, so, yeah, this was a, uh, you know, a character. Third game in four nights, coming off two overtime games. 
uh, in Phoenix. Come in here, a lot of things are happening, and uh, we found a way to get the win. So not satisfied. We have two more games in this road trip, and uh, next stop is Miami. Go back to Mike Singer. Hey, hey, Michael. Uh, thanks for bringing up Mike. Appreciate it. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, uh, do you appreciate the confidence and the readiness that he plays with, that he comes off late in the third quarter, comes off the bench, gives you the spark, end of the third quarter to start the fourth? Do you appreciate just the, the, the ability to, to, to just jump into the game and play and contribute? Uh, I would say, uh, as opposed to appreciating it, I expect it. You know, Michael Porter was a starter beginning the year. Obviously, he missed a, a ton of time due to COVID protocols. I think he missed nine or 10 games to start the month of January. We were playing really well at the time, so I decided to keep him coming off the bench, stay with that group. You know, but as you've seen last couple of games, not necessarily – everybody gets caught in who starts. It's such a big thing for everybody. I don't really understand it. If you have a chance to close the game, that's more important than hearing your name before a game in an arena with no fans. But anyways, I digress. Uh, but I, I'm not, you know, surprised by anything Michael does. He's supremely talented. Uh, that's why he earned that starting small forward position. And as I mentioned earlier, Mike, uh, this is one of the games where Michael took over and had big, big plays that allowed us to stay close and ultimately allowed us to win the game at the end. 